I, I don't know if it's the American people as a whole who are responding to this as a political persecution, but most certainly Trump's base. And the polls are showing that a, a, a number of independents are also responding that way or, or not caring, frankly, about the results of, of these trials. And the, the thing about these polls that's interesting to me, I, the, the Biden campaign keeps saying, you know, the election is very far away. And yes, it's true we're not, you know, wholly into the campaign. The, uh, the primaries aren't over. Um, he's not the official nominee. But at some point, as the months and weeks drag on, at some point, the Biden campaign has to be worried that this election will look more like 2016 than 2020. And um, that depends a lot on, on voter turnout, uh, as, as we learned from those elections. Uh, Trump doesn't do well with high voter turnout, and Democrats do horribly with low voter turnout. So if, if indeed these cases um, discourage voters or, or disgust voters in the way that voters were discouraged and disgusted in 2016 for participating, that's really good news for Trump, and especially in, the, in those key states like, like Michigan.